Among the people, thousands who turned out for those prayers was proud Muslim Sonny, Sonny Bill Williams, the All Black. Um, he spoke of Islam as a religion of peace when he talked to, to media after that service. He challenged New Zealanders to learn more about the faith and he also paid his respects to the families of those who died. So the victims um, of those that were uh, tragically taken away from us on last Friday, uh, my thoughts and condolences are with them. Um, got brother Abdul Rahim here. He lost his younger brother on, on Friday. Um, for myself personally, I just wanted to come down here as a proud Muslim and a proud New Zealander to show that uh, firstly, as a Muslim, um, that I'm proud to be a New Zealander. Uh, and then also come down here and, and just show some love and, and help out where I can. So um, I thought I'd be the one giving strength. But last night when I was sitting for a couple of hours with Abdul Rahman and uh, his brothers, I was the one that was being affected and, and getting strength from them. You know, after the first emotional hit came, then it was my, my thoughts were, how can I be practical about helping the situation? Obviously, um, I understand that I am an All Black. I, I do play for the Blues, um, but I also am a Muslim so I, I knew that you know although uh, being a naturally shy person I knew that I had to step out and be vulnerable and, and, and step into into that zone and lead in the space and, and just show that um, you know we are Muslims but we are humans and we are New Zealanders as well so I think you know um, touching on that I just want to say to the general public to my fellow rugby men rugby boys uh, to our employers I just want to say thank you from from, from my heart because it's been um, humbling, it's been, uh, yeah, it's obviously such a tragic event. But uh, just the way that people have reached out has shown me that they care. So I think now I just put it to them, to put it to the New Zealand public um, to find out about Islam. Because it is truly a religion of peace and love. And as we've seen from the kupta, from the talk, uh, from the brother on stage, he just shared some beautiful messages that are the core and the essence of what Islam is. It's been beautiful, the people reaching out throughout the week uh, to myself, to the Muslim community, but it shows one thing that um, we don't know what Islam is. You know, people don't really know what Islam is. And uh, I feel like to get that light, you need that knowledge and, and you need to understand what Islam is so it can give that, give that light, which will, what will get rid of the darkness. Well, the Australian boxer and former NRL player Anthony Mundine is one of those in Christchurch where he visited the wounded in hospital and attended services for those who died last Friday. He's a three-time world boxing champion and dedicated Muslim. He spoke to reporters here in Hagley Park near the Al Noor Mosque where 42 people were killed. To God's will, you know, the summer's still here and uh, yeah, for them to live through that and, you know, see dead bodies and, you know, Seeing people being murdered, it's, I, I wouldn't wish you wouldn't want to wish that upon your worst enemy, you know. Where were you when you when you heard about it, and um, how did you react to it? Yeah, I was back home, man. Um, actually, my son, my son, um, come and told me about it, and then showed me some footage. Well, I thought he was playing like a prank on me, and it seemed pretty surreal. The, the footage, I thought it was a video game, um, and then when I re come to realise that. You know, it was the truth. Um, yeah, my, my heart just just melted, man, and uh, I just felt I had to be here and and you know show my support, show my aid to the to the people. Do you think something's changed after this? I just want to give a big rap to Jacinta Arden. I think you know she's led from the forefront, um, from the top, really, with her compassion, with her empathy, and and her class. And, and the way she's handled this, you know, about playing the Edan today, midday, the whole country, um, morning for two minutes. Um, she's done everything. She couldn't do anything more, you know, to show that respect. And, um, you know, I take my head off to it, man. Yeah, you've, you seem to have been seriously sort of moved by the Prime Minister's actions in this country. In, in this country. I just think it's the first leader that I've saw um, be a true leader, you know what I mean? Um, I think the whole world can, you know, the leaders can really take a leaf out of her book and um, try to try to lead what she does. This is the first time I saw a, a PM lead with a with her heart and and you know do the right thing rather than um, be led a different way. And what did you? 
find? What did you say when you went up and saw some of your brothers up in up in the hospital? I just gave, gave them my salams, you know, gave them my salams and you know, embraced them and showed them, you know, you know, stay strong. I, I try to uh, uplift them um, in order to stay strong and whatnot. Um, but it's hard when you know you see somebody go through something so horrific and you know mentally disturbing what they uh, went through you know so it's going to take a lot of time to heal but you know as long as they got their faith in Allah that inshallah they'll, they'll, they'll come overcome that.